next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer back. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging. He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers in the UFC is that range. He starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing, but he beats up you. Ready? So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Trying to double up on that jab. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice straight left. Now let's see if they're gonna try to find the takedown or watch for him to employ a dirty boxing strategy. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Head kick! Oh, right hand gets up to block it. One minute. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab... Back to the feet! You got him. gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on the floor.
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He's having his way with him here. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Nice hammer fist. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. The kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. there as he decides to move. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that... execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 41 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your...